This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headlines. On number one, the House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts has criticized the Bureau of Public Enterprises BPE over the expenditure of 10.4 billion naira on registering two companies for the Nigeria Postal Service NIPOST, which ceased operations just one year after lunch. Committee Chairman Honorable Bamidele Salam expressed this belief that NIPOST Transport and Logistics Limited and NIPOS property both launched in May 2023, folded by May 2024. BPE's head of finance, Imam Rewan, explained that 423 million naira was spent on registration and preparatory activities, while 400 million naira was for groundwork. However, the committee questioned justification and demanded relevant approvals, instructing BPE's Director General Ayodeji Bilei to appear on September 11 with supporting documents. On number two, the Department of State Services DSS has granted administrative bill to the President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC Joe Ajeru. His release was confirmed by activist Omoye Lishuwere via a tweet on Monday. The NLC had earlier issued an ultimatum for his release, threatening consequences if he was not freed by midnight. Ajere was arrested at Abuja Unamde Azikwe International Airport while en route to the UK to represent Nigerian workers at the Trade Union Congress of Britain. On number three, the All Progressives Congress APC has postponed its National Caucus and National Executive Committee meetings originally scheduled for September 11 and 12, 2024. The party's National Publicity Secretary Felix Moka announced the postponement on Monday adding that new dates would be communicated in due course. The statement reads, in quote, Members of the National Caucus of the National Executive Committee of the All Progressives Congress, APC, are hereby informed that the National Caucus and National Executive Committee meetings scheduled to be held on September 11 and 12, 2024, respectively, have been postponed. New dates for the meetings will be communicated. End of quote. On number 4, factional chairman of the Labour Party, Jelio Sabure, has declared that the party's 2027 presidential ticket is open to all qualified members, no longer reserved for Peter Obi, speaking at a National Executive Committee meeting on Monday. Sabure clarified that NEC had reviewed its previous decision to reserve the presidential and governorship ticket for Obi and Alex Oti, respectively stating that all tickets are now open for competition ahead of the next elections. He said in quote, NEC in session also reviewed the decision of the National Convention to reserve its presidential and governorship tickets for Peter Gregory B and Alex Oti respectively. Consequently, all party tickets from the presidency to the House of Assemblies are open to all qualified Nigerians. And lastly, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has arrived in Benin Edu State ahead of the state's governorship election set for September 21, 2024. His visit includes overseeing mock accreditations, assessing INEC offices and conducting stakeholder engagement. A peace accord signing by political parties is also planned. Timidi Wariowe, Edo State INEC Head of Voters Education, announced that Yakubu's readiness assessment tour will cover several local government areas before a meeting with stakeholders and a visit to the palace. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.